Hello and Namaste everyone. Thank you very much for taking time to tune in. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic called mental constipation and the cure for it. Well, we all know what is physical constipation. Physical constipation is when you take the food on a day-to-day -day basis, it gets digested, it moves into your intestine and eventually it needs to be eliminated. All the toxic waste has to get out of the system. Otherwise, it becomes further toxins and causes a lot of discomfort. Initially and eventually, research shows that chronic constipation can lead to colorectal cancer, which is one of the predominant cancers in North America. So we now know the impact of not eliminating stuff that we take in at a physical level can lead to all kinds of complications at a physiological level. Now, at a mental level also, we are taking in a lot of information. <clears throat> we ingest information from the senses that are perceiving constantly in the external world, like your eyes, your ears, the taste, the thoughts that we are processing in our mind. All of these basically get into your mind. And once the processing happens, it gets into the subconscious mind. You can think subconscious mind as like your intestines where all this, you know, digested food after it, it gets stored in the intestine and gets eliminated. So very similarly, <clears throat> these thoughts, all these emotions that we process on a day-to-day -day basis gets accumulated in your subconscious mind. Now, the problem is we don't have a mechanism of cleaning that subconscious mind, emptying that subconscious mind. Whereas physically, of course, we know that we have a process, but even at a physical level, we have abused our systems these days so much that we have completely messed up with our system and even that process of elimination is not working efficiently these days. And we see that because of our lifestyle, the type of food that we eat, the type of lifestyle that we have leads to constipation. Even like we are talking about younger children. I have seen people who are at four, five, three, four, five years age going through severe constipation because of the type of food that they eat. And of course, as you grow older into becoming you know, a senior citizen, it gets complicated because obviously your muscles are getting weak, your system is getting weak. But again, you know, all of those can be remedied very easily with the type of food that you eat. Now, the problem with the mental constipation is that all this stuff is accumulating and we are not eliminating. And now what happens is the stuff, whenever it gets accumulated, what happens? It starts stinking. It starts irritating us. Just like physical constipation, it starts to smell, it starts to stink. And then for a period of time, it can cause all kinds of disorders. And most of the disorders that we are seeing today in the modern world in the name of anxiety, depression, stress, all of this is because we are not cleaning the subconscious mind. And the perfect cure for this is true meditation. Again, I'm saying true meditation, not just sitting and closing your eyes and just trying to focus and concentrate. It's not that. It's an actually an intensive and active process of cleansing your mind. As ancient Sunita always says, true meditation is cleansing, purifying, silencing, transformation and shift. So first the cleaning has to happen. How, do the cle how does the cleaning happen? Cleaning happens only when the waste gets eliminated. So that waste has to be eliminated from subconscious mind. Unless that happens, the purification doesn't happen. Unless that happens, silencing, calming of the mind doesn't happen. And only when the, in that calm state of mind, whatever decisions we make, whatever we want to transform, can happen in that state of calm mind. Similarly, physical level, right? Unless, you know, that waste gets eliminated, we don't feel comfortable. But unfortunately, with this waste sitting in our subconscious mind, we are trying to lead a comfortable life. We are trying to lead a peaceful life, a balanced life, a happy life, a harmonious life. But none of this can happen as long as that toxic material sitting and your subconscious mind gets eliminated and that is why these days I tell people you know when they are talking about decision making people in leadership positions you know trying to make these decisions I tell them unless you meditate I cannot trust your decision because the decisions that you are making are from that state of subconscious mind filled with all these toxins 
who knows how long these toxins are accumulated these toxins are accumulated we know in the name of anger jealousy greed selfishness false ego all of these things keep polluting that subconscious and over a period of time you can only imagine how much stink it generates and how much stink it creates in your subconscious mind so unless we clean that subconscious mind from all these waste on a day to day basis that is why it is so important that we meditate on a day to day basis to clean the stuff just like we clean the stuff from our intestine at a physical level meditating twice a day is even better i meditate twice a day first thing in the morning so that it is clear my mind is crystal clear there is no waste just like it after my physical disposal of my you know intestinal waste i work on my subconscious mind to clean any waste and again at the end of the day it is important that we clean the mind and eliminate all that waste because the day to day decisions that we are making in our families in our work environments have deep influence from our subconscious mind and no wonder that world is in such a big chaos because we have people making decisions from that toxic emotion toxic thought processes toxic vices of the mind and we see dysfunctional families dysfunctional organizations dysfunctional society in the world today and that is why dears our organization peace tree center for wellness is so focused and so much obsessed in a way to help people to take charge of their lives with self care self love self compassion and most importantly true ancient healing meditation where you clean your mind so please dears shift from mental constipation to mental elimination mental clarity and mental focus and mental calmness and from which you can make the most amazing decisions and navigate your life in the right direction thank you very much See you all soon again. Take care.